Hey guys, or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul video. I was recently in the States for about two weeks and I picked up a few things. Yeah, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. So I actually went to California and I went into the Morphe store. I've never bought anything from Morphe before. So um, I went into the Morphe store, I was so excited because um, I mean I, I got the address from their website so we actually drove to their store because I really wanted to check out their brushes. I've heard so many mixed reviews about their products and I just really wanted to check them out. So I really wanted to try out some of the brushes from the Elite collection. Unfortunately they were completely sold out which I was so so gutted about but oh well I still got a few things anyways. The first thing I got was the most talked about um, 35O palette. So yeah, this is just the 35O palette. You guys already know what it looks like. Um, I just really wanted to check um, the pigmentation of this before purchasing it. But yeah, I think this was $22, I think it was. Next from Morphe are these brushes I got. Um, just gonna take them out of the packaging. So I got the G35 brush which looks like this and this looks like a perfect brush for um, setting under eye or contour I mean whatever really but I just thought it looked like a very good multi-purpose brush so I got that so this is the G35 next I got the M176 brush and this is like a tapered brush I feel like this would be perfect to apply um, highlighter especially if you want that precise um, highlight at the top of your cheekbones I just thought this would be perfect and the brushes actually do feel really soft I mean I'm gonna have to try try them out first and know exactly how well they perform but first hand they do feel really soft so yeah I think I'm gonna use that as a highlighting brush and then lastly I got um, this is MB29 and this is your basic um, slanted brush with the spoolie at the end so I reckon this would be good for eyebrow um, eyebrow shading or for eyeliner as well really whatever you want to use that for so yeah those are the brushes I got and then lastly from Morphe I got two eyeshadows they had such a huge range of eyeshadows and I was gonna go completely crazy just picking them up but I just <sighs> I just had to restrain myself and my husband was right there giving me the side eye so um, I could only pick so much so I picked up this ES509 and this is oh, the, uh, their eyeshadows, their single eyeshadows were so, so, so pigmented, I must say. Um, so when I swatched this um, in the store, it, oh my gosh, the pigmentation of this was just incredible. So um, yeah, I definitely had to pick that up. This is a very, oh, made of gold. Hmm, okay. Well, that's what it's called, ES509, <laughs> made of gold. It's got the name printed on the back there. Um, yeah, it's very, very shimmery and just... A gorgeous gorgeous uh, golden eyeshadow and I reckon this would go really nicely on the lid and then this one is oh this is another beautiful sort of duochrome shade and this is called Linga ES503 it's like a green but with like flecks of golden brown I have no idea how to describe this but it's such a gorgeous color and I and as I said the pigmentation is just absolutely Phenomenal. I mean, I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Just, just look at that. Just look at that. Oh man, that's just beautiful. And I'll swatch the other one as well so you can see. I really can't wait to play with this. So those are the two eyeshadows right there. Okay, so moving on, I went into Macy's and I just ended up getting literally just two items. I got the liquid lipstick um, in Ashton. I haven't actually opened this yet, so I'm going to open it up and show you guys what it is. It's such a beautiful, beautiful um, brown shade. And if you're a woman of colour and you're looking for that true brown liquid lipstick, 
this is it it's oh it's so so beautiful because i tried it on in the store and i just knew that i had to get it and this is actually my first anastasia um liquid lipstick and it comes you know you guys know how it looks like I'm just going to show you a swatch so you can see what the colour looks like. And then I got a lip gloss and they do look very similar but um, yeah so this is a lip gloss in sepia so I ended up getting the lip gloss in sepia and the lipstick in Ashton. So this is what sepia looks like in the lip gloss and I really do like the doe foot applicator on the lip gloss is like flat. I really like these two colours because I feel like they're very flattering especially for darker skin tones so if you need that true brown shade um, yeah definitely check these out. And then from the drugstore I ended up just getting one thing and this is the NYC liquid eyeliner in extreme black the one I've had I've used for I don't even know how long I've used it for that's what I currently have on um, my upper lash line this thing is no joke the best eyeliner I've ever used you can get your hands on it unfortunately they don't sell it in the UK but I think you can get it from Amazon or eBay I'm pretty sure you can get it from Amazon or eBay but this is what it looks like and oh my gosh this thing is just just freaking amazing I mean you can get the, the most precise tip just using the brush um, that comes with the liner it's just really really fantastic I absolutely love it this is probably the only eyeliner I will ever use so I just um, got one more of those then I went into Ulta and um, I don't know, I was so excited. You know like when you go into the store and you're so excited to see all these products that you don't get here, well, that I don't get here in England. And I was just so excited to see all these products and I just, I don't know, I just got so overwhelmed. I ended up not buying as much as I wanted to. But anyways, um, I got the Real Techniques um, Bold Metal Brush. And we do, they do, they do sell this in boots over here, but it's like, I think this one cost about £25, I think, and this was like $22 in the US, so it's a lot cheaper over there, so um, I just thought, you know what, I might as well just get it there. So I, I just literally got the one brush, and this is the base um, 100 arched powder brush, this is the their, their powder brush in the bold metals, and I've heard so many good things about it, I was so excited to try this out. So this is what the brush looks like and oh my gosh, it feels so soft. Okay, I'm too excited to use this and it does, I mean, I can just imagine using that to powder my face right now. Oh, so excited. It just looks so nice and golden, like that colour is just beautiful. Anyways, yeah, so that's the powder brush. And then from Ulta, I got one of the NYX Liquid Suede um, Cream Lipstick. So it's the liquid lipstick, but by NYX. And again, <laughs> this is actually stocked here in the UK. But I don't know. I just thought I'd just get it there whilst I was there anyways. This is the NYX Suede Lipstick in Sandstorm. And this is what it looks like. Hmm, not bad at all. I can't wait to try this out. So yeah, this is what this looks like. That's pretty much it guys. This was a very, very pathetic haul. Um, unfortunately, I just didn't buy as much as I want to. Um, from Sephora, I got my birthday gift because I mean, I traveled during the time of my birthday. So, oh no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I got this from Sephora. Oh my gosh, completely forgot about this. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep 36. So I've heard so many good things about this concealer and I really wanted to try it out. I really wanted a concealer to use underneath my eyes. It's a bit lighter than my skin tone, so I think this would be perfect to use as a highlighter underneath my eyes. And then as my birthday gift, I got this Marc Jacobs Duo thingy. 
Inside is just a tiny, tiny lipstick. This is so tiny. This is literally all there is. And then included in that was this eyeliner. And it's just a basic cream eyeliner. And yeah, that is pretty much it, guys, for this haul. I hope you all enjoyed. Sorry if it was very underwhelming. But anyways, um, I hope you all enjoyed it either way. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.